Hello and welcome to Andover College Sport and Leisure Industries Department. My name is Dave Millings and I'm going to talk to you about all the things that we do here at the college in relation to sports. So firstly, just a quick overview of the kinds of things that we do here at the college. So we run a variety of courses. We include um, lots of sports coaching um, and personal training, fitness instructing qualifications that look to help students prepare for a career uh, in the sports industry or further study if they want to go on to university and study things like physiotherapy or teaching uh, as well as a variety of other subjects. Students here at the college study um, two different pathways when they do put sport. They can either study a coaching and development pathway or a fitness and personal training pathway. These are both full-time courses, so the students that do these don't do other A-levels alongside them. And they'll be looking at a career in, in one of those two industries, or like I said, further study uh, going on to university. We also offer a part-time route for students who are looking at studying other A-levels and other subjects whilst here at college. So if you're interested in things like history or biology, uh, new subjects like psychology or criminology, then we have a single A-level version of our course, which is called the National Certificate. Uh, I'll talk about this in a little bit more detail in a minute. For that level two course, students will need four GCSEs at grade three or above. Um, the duration of that course is one year and upon completion of that course, if the student hits the criteria, they will be allowed to progress on to level three. For the level three course, for both the uh, fitness and the coaching, we um, expect our students to get five GCSEs at grade four or above uh, and that will need to include English and maths. So we also offer part-time courses in which students can choose sport as well as another subject. Within the HNC, the HNC is a level four course. So upon completion of the level three, students can then do an extra year at college um, and do a level four course, which is equivalent to first year of university. Um, that For that uh, course, students will need to have completed a BTEC Extended Diploma in Sport as well as um, or potentially have a A-level at Grade C or above. So the Football Academy. Within the Football Academy, we play at college level. We play on a Wednesday afternoon and students will be allowed to progress their, um, their football and talents. If the individual in question is noted to be quite a very a quite a good footballer, we will invite them into the Andover Town under 23s who play on a Thursday night in a Hampshire Development League. From there, the player might develop even more and could push for a first team appearance for Andover Town, who the college are heavily linked with. And then if that player is performing extremely well at that level, we could even push them on to AFC Bournemouth as Ron Bertie, one of the football coaches here, he has strong links there. So for assessments, so as it says in the PowerPoint, there are lots and lots of different assessment, assessment methods within the courses. So some of those assessment methods may be practical, some of them may be presentations, written reports, um, they may be controlled assessments, uh, but they all of our assessments go towards your end grade, which then will allow you to go on to university because it will accumulate UCAS points, which will then allow you to access university. Or we have had students in the past that have obtained the scholarships to play football in the United States. So there it's also saying students can also gain direct employment as coaches or gym instructors for achieving additional qualifications. The, those qualifications will be the level two gym instructor qualification as well as governing body qualifications. Uh, so for example, the FA 
uh, coaching quarters. And finally, our uh, enrichment. So we try to provide students with access to as many different sports as possible so whilst they're at college. Uh, obviously, the bigger the sport course you do, the more access you have to a variety of courses. We run various trips to universities such as Wembley Stadium, um, the UCFB, University College in Wem based in Wembley. They get a tour, they get to um, experience some practical sessions at the various universities. We have strong links with Portsmouth and Solent, as well as uh, trying to visit other local universities like Bournemouth, Southampton and Winchester. Um, we also try to run some trips for the students. So every couple of years we try and do a trip abroad. Uh, most recently they went to Barcelona on a football tour and did a tour of the New Camp Stadium and had a couple of ways, a couple of days away in the sun, enjoying themselves and, and learning all about sport and its practical applications.